Whether you make it into the first round of the PB4 testnet or are stuck waiting until May 28th for the public testnet, um, there is something that you can start doing right now to prepare. And that is stocking up on testnet fuel. Now, I do want to make it clear from the get-go, you do not have to do this. When looking at Alluvium's testnet under ad funds, we can see that Alluvium has added an area where we can claim testnet ETH directly from the team. Based on past experiences, this will probably be a daily allotment that you can collect to use however you wish. This video is simply for those who don't want to be limited. Nothing worse than running out of money while trying to complete a daily task. Now, this is a bit of a copycat video. My friend and fellow creator Caveman released an amazing video explaining how you can play like a whale in Alluvium's PB4. And if you'd rather watch the original source, I have the link to his video below. Now, I still like to think of myself as kind of new to Web3 gaming. Um, I don't venture from Alluvium often, so I haven't had a ton of experience with Testnet in general. And while going through his steps, I did encounter a slightly different experience, a few road bumps along the way, so I figured I'd get my own take on it. Now, road bumps aside, it is still a pretty seamless process. And the first thing you're going to want to do is register for Luvium's PP4. The process is simple. You can use my creator link below, fill in an email address, add a username, and you are good to go. It's that easy. And if you'd like more information on the process or how to increase your chances of being selected for the PB4 registration, go ahead and uh, check out my video above right there. Uh, but once you have an account created, we're going to go ahead and go through the steps of getting Testnet ETH, also known as Sepolia ETH. Go ahead and open up a hot wallet of your choice. You can even create a new one for this. You're going to go to the network tab. And if you don't have it turned on, we're going to flip this tab down at the bottom that says show test networks, and we're going to choose Sepolia. Next, you'll need to go to what's known as a faucet. Uh, there are a few different sites. I just used what Caveman suggested and went to alchemy.com, their faucet, which I provided a link to in the description below. Using it is totally free. You can collect up to half an ETH a day from the site. And the only requirement is that you need an actual Ethereum balance of 0.001 ETH on the Ethereum mainnet of the wallet address being used. This is kind of helping them make sure that bots aren't coming in and draining that faucet. It's not going to pull anything out of your account. You don't need to sign any transactions. Uh, one hiccup I did run into here is not having used testnet much, you do need to set up an account with Alchemy in order to use their site. When signing up for an account, it will ask you for information like an email where you will have to provide a code to prove that you are real, a phone number where they will send a code for verification processes. And finally, while you can choose a free account, in my experience, they did require me to put a card on file. For many people in our space, all of these steps is a bit too much, a bit too risky, um, too much personal information, and I get it. It could be there are other faucets that don't require this. I was exploring infura.io, and while the required name and the required email, I was able to choose a free account without providing that payment method information. Uh, as I mentioned, if you're doing Alchemy, you can get up to half an ETH on testnet of that Monopoly money a day. And from what I can tell on Infura, the amount you get is going to be dependent on the specific wallet's activity. The more activity you have, the more you're going to get, um, which is kind of their version of protecting themselves from botting. Whichever site or method you choose, once you have the appropriate account set up, it's as easy as copy pasting that layer one address uh, into the field and clicking the send me ETH button. Uh, after that, you head back to your MetaMask wallet and hit refresh. It might take a few minutes, but uh, after a while, you will see in your Layer 1 Sepolia wallet the ETH deposited. Now, our next step is going to be moving this testnet ETH from your Layer 1 into your Layer 2 Passport wallet. So we're going to go back to your testnet account for Alluvium, click on your username account, and go down to that Add Funds button. Here we can see the spot where we'll be able to eventually claim our testnet ETH from Alluvium. Again, we don't really know how much or how often, but I would assume this is probably going to be that daily allowance. In our case, we're going to choose deposit from wallet. Go ahead and connect the wallet that has the testnet ETH in it. We can see here the amount we have available to deposit, and we're going to choose a little less than that um, so that we can pay those testnet gas fees, which thankfully is nowhere near as high as mainnet gas. Hit that confirm button. 
We'll go ahead and sign for that gas fee and that will send it to your layer two passport wallet. Now it does take a few minutes. Um, in my case, it only took about five uh, to get into your account. But once it's there, we can click on our account and our new balance will be displayed and ready for spending. If you keep it up, you will certainly never run dry of that Monopoly money during Alluvium's PV4. Once again, big thanks to Caveman for showing us the secret and please consider subscribing to his channel down in the description below. If you want to learn more about what to expect in Alluvium's PV4, if you want to learn more about IMX Passport or the Alluvium ecosystem in general, hit that subscribe button. I'm your girl. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you on the PV4 battlefield. Take care.